My friend, thank you for coming. It's really great honor for us to have a, a patient, a friend from another country. Uh, it means you choose us, you find us. Yeah. And really, it's very uh, honorable to, to have such situations. Thank you for coming again. So, please tell me, usually people find me after they have a recurrence because they operate in a normal conventional way and if recurrence happens, they make yeah. searches and they find me. How it happened in your case? Yeah, so I've actually never went to an uh, urologist before. Yeah. And uh, my ex-girlfriend, she, she wanted me to like go and check myself. Yeah. So I decided to go yeah. and there was like actually a pretty good urologist in Sofia, Bulgaria who... Yeah. Um, I also have some friends. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. are very qualified. But this varicose disease has, you know, the, the, the normal way, which is uh, educated, mm -hmm. is not enough. Yeah. They also say the, the varicose is such a procedure, the, yeah. the success rate is 70%. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so immediately he saw the veins. I've, I've never like felt pain, to be honest. Like maybe I felt pain, but um, it was like rarely, and I thought it was just a normal thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have, didn't have any issues, but uh, he, he immediately saw the veins and he said, like, you probably have a uh, varicose cell. So he, he got like a Doppler device as well and he showed me like the, yeah. the veins and the blood. He his, himself did the Doppler? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the um, first time I see, I hear a urologist doing the Doppler himself. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he, he showed me that I have grade 3 varicose cell, okay. um, which we then confirmed with you as well. Yeah. Um, and he basically proposed that I could do an operation if I want, but he wanted me to, to do a sperm check yeah. and uh, uh, a hormone check. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, I've read some re reviews about him. I'm really like uh, analyzing stuff. Yeah, why? Yeah. Why Why did you want to do some research? What's yeah. the thing that, that make you uncomfortable with this? Um, yeah, basically, it's uh, I've never had an operation in my life yeah. um, in such a way. So, for me, it was like a pretty serious thing and especially for someone to uh, to have an operation on your uh, like genitals and testes yes. and for me it's like crazy you know it's scary so I was like I started researching about Ricocell and I started reading a lot yeah. um, and that's how I actually um, landed on your YouTube channel because yeah. uh, I wanted to see like what the actual operation is about yeah, so the operation what they do in yeah, the yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. understand there's a different technique we are talking about yeah uh, so can you understand what's the main difference between our technique and uh, conventional varicose technique so what's in your mind what do you uh, understand yeah well, what, what I've understood is that usually the conventional way of doing it it's like they they just clip the veins yes. and they're hoping for them to disappear. Yeah. But sometimes they they can still like there's still might be some blood flow, so the vein does not like die. It yes. like, doesn't disappear. Disappear doesn't shrink. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy that I can understand uh, tell this in this way. Yeah. Uh, it's sometimes very difficult to understand what's going on. So we take out the veins inside yeah. the, during the operation, so it eases the uh, healing. Uh, Immediately now I did a doctor check now. It's there's no way. Yeah, this is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we did it in normal way, there will be swollen veins, and we would expect them to disappear in yeah. a month, in third month, three months, six months, whatever. Yeah. But today they will be there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, thank you again for coming. And we have some instruments like doctor in the operation yeah yeah uh, this is also important yes because your case you are a sportsman what sports do you do i'm just, just doing fitness but i'm like pretty active in yeah the very, you are very active your body is uh, without fat easy to operate but there are too much arteries normally you yeah. find one artery in your case i find three arteries yeah if i don't have this stop there maybe i will i would miss one of these because yeah. with a uh, microscope we are searching for the movement of the yeah. uh, artery and we see the pulsation of the artery sometimes we don't see yeah or in the uh, for these three vessels one of them was large yeah uh, it was visible it was pulsating in the operation but the other two was tiny yeah and we would uh, sacrifice these arteries and it will reduce the blood flow yeah in exactly. the testicle. Um, so your case is a little extreme, <laughs> very, uh, it was very good operation, uh, it was fun for us, but uh, really a little tricky. And uh, I am very surprised, but how, how many days happened after the surgery? How many, what, uh, the third day? Yeah, today is uh, third day, yeah, 
Thursday yeah. we did it on Monday. So. Monday, so it is yeah. today, Thursday, yeah. so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Third, post operative third day, yeah. you are in now. Yeah. You are very active. You are very. Yeah. Uh, you you said you go sightseeing yesterday? Yeah, yeah. We, yesterday we went to the Grand Bazaar and we had just checked my steps and yeah. we had like. Uh, 14,000 steps done, oh. and I'm not sure that's okay. great. Okay, silent. Don't, yeah. don't say it. Don't yeah, say people like this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want anyone to uh, yeah, yeah, make yeah. this much steps in one day. Uh, so it's you are extreme. Sometimes mm -hmm. some people say to me, I can't move for two weeks. This yeah. is extreme too. Yeah. But normally we are really very safe to send the patient if we operate on Monday or Tuesday to send them at Saturday. It is safe. Yeah. And oh, but of course they are not very uh, relaxed. They are very comfortable like you. Yeah. They move with caution. They yeah. move slowly, but uh, it's possible. So yeah, we are. I'm happy with this procedure. Let me show how was your veins before mm -hmm. the operation. So this is, uh, if we can show this, this is the one of the veins. It was four point two millimeters. How was it, it, uh, their calculation? They, they measured it this, this big um, in your uh, previous reports? Oh no, they didn't, he didn't measure the veins. Okay, he yeah. just see them. And he just saw them and showed me. And then uh, again, 3.4. It crowded, there are many, many veins here. Crowded one. And this is the color Doppler. We see reflux without strain. It was a reflux without strain. Yeah, after this is the end of the operation. We printed your initials. Yeah. <laughs> so during the operation, look, there is a real huge vein. Yeah. This is this is now the testis is out. It is delivered, and this vein is going out. Uh, and this is the part when before delivery we see the vessels, and we want them to take them out. And huh, this is when we cut and open inside the wound. We see the vessels. And this is your initials. We had some videos. These are the vessels. I will show another one. Okay, here we see a big artery. It's close to next to the largest vein. And there's a smaller artery. Now we will dissect. And after that section, we find one more. Has mm -hmm. a four shortly, very nice vessels. It, it has no fatty tissue. Yeah. Dissection is very easy. It's not always possible like that, but I want to show you this. This are the These are the veins. We always make control that it, to be sure they are veins. Mm -hmm. And. Oops. Make check with the Doppler device to be safe, sure about the arteries. Okay, actually, I don't need Doppler device in this patient because I can clearly see arteries pulsating here. But in some cases, if it is not prominent like this, it, it's not easy to find like this. We use this Doppler very nicely. So this way, our technique is to take these veins out as long segments. Yeah. It's not it's very difficult, it's, it's possible to clean them, dissect them like this. It takes time. It's normally, many urologists say, the open operation is 5 minutes. Yeah. Uh, very easy. It, for me it takes 45 minutes for one side. Yeah, yeah. For two sides, longer than one hour, but not important. So yeah. the healing is extremely nice like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm very relaxed when I see the doctor and it is empty, there is no vessels remaining. Yeah, yeah it's good. Uh, so, in the follow-up, I really uh, scare when I see a testis like yours filling with blood nicely, too much arteries, because that means our, the, the blood will come, it has to go back. Yeah. Now this is blocked and yeah. there is a channel of sperm channel, the, the veins around it will take, the, will drain the testicle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't want you to do extreme exercise, actually no straining mm -hmm. for one month. Okay. And after one month, you will start the supplements that will increase the sperm quality, actually healing. Yeah. That will ease the healing, quicken the healing. And for three months, you will use these supplements. Mm -hmm. After three months, I will ask you a sperm check. 
spam count and Doppler analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are close, if it is possible, if you can come, it is better for us. I will do it myself, like standing up position. Yeah. Or uh, the doctor doing this, maybe, but maybe he, he may be some kind of uh, yeah. irritated about you need the operation in another country. So yeah. you can ask for a Doppler from a radiology, from a radiology center yeah. and send it to me. Uh, and make his spam count. Mm -hmm. So it means after four months you will do this. Yeah. At this four months, I don't want you to strain. I don't want you to be constipated. Yeah. I don't want you to do m many exercises. So yeah. try to keep yourself as slow as possible. Yeah. I know you are an active guy. Right? So what careful. do you think about body weight exercises? For example, no, don't pressure increase your abdominal pressure. Yeah. Don't strain. You can do anything other than yeah. that. Uh, still, okay. When you hear this tomorrow, don't uh, don't <laughs> push it too much. Yeah. So give yourself. Look yeah. at this way. Yeah. Here, this is the internal vein. External vein was not like thirty centimeters. This yeah. one. This is internal vein. Previously, I was not getting this out, but I don't want this to stay there. Yeah. It's like four millimeter diameter. Uh, I don't want it to stay there uh, after the procedure, so it's easy, it's safe, we do it nicely. Uh, so four months, be careful, mm -hmm. then we will do the control. Uh, what else, what, what you have to eat? Nothing. Do you live a normal life? Yeah. Don't do anything extreme. Alcohol is not forbidden, but don't do extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, cigarette is forbidden. <laughs> Until yeah. I see the good results, I don't want you to smoke, then yeah, I, I don't smoke. Yeah. Okay, this is nice for me. And uh, about uh, living, that's normal. You yeah. live a normal life. Uh, yeah. yeah. When I can have fun with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's usually we say after 15 days yeah. after the operation, it's it's okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, this is not a strict rule. We don't want too much muscle activity, yeah. too much uh, straining, such things. Uh, but 15 minutes is a good period. Uh, 15 days. 15 days. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, you can always we will be in touch with. Uh, as we were in touch before the operation with messages, you can be connecting to us yeah. and uh, we can do future controls uh, with WhatsApp or if possible you will come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. thank you for coming again. Thank you so much, Doctor. So you I say think. this operation is doable yeah. from other for patients for other countries? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think it's, yeah. it, it's great. Like uh, coming here in Turkey as well, it's a, yeah. it's a really interesting culture. Yeah. Um, and yeah, our cultures are very similar, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the traffic is a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you're coming with a car, you should. And one more question. Yeah. People from abroad usually select the expensive hospital. Mm -hmm. But uh, you choose the mo uh, more economic one. Yeah. Are you happy with it? Do, is oh, there yeah. any problem? Because yeah. people are hesitate. When I say there's an economic option, they say, Ooh, is it a problem? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I had I had the same I had the same fear that it might be like a bad hospital or like the conditions might be bad, but actually it exceeded my expectations a lot. Thank you. And yeah, and I have a friend who actually worked in a hospital. Uh, one of my friends who came yes. with me. Yes. Um, he he also had a few operations done to himself, and yes. he said like. Uh, in Bulgaria, where I'm from, it's yeah. usually uh, not such a high standard for like the, even for the cheaper yes. uh, alternatives. So yeah. really great savers. The nurses were really kind. I felt like I felt like somebody's taking care of me, and I was not feeling uh, like scared or anything yeah. like that. So so this is yeah. This is I will never take my patients to somewhere which is not uh, really uh, I'm confident. Yeah. Uh, so the economic one is also good enough. And the, the, the more expensive part is like a good hotel. Yeah, but yeah. It, it never changed too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for explanation. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay.